So there's a few things going on here on the property and uh, I just brought a handful of bricks because uh, we're fixing the chimney. I think I'm gonna switch that light out just because uh, this light's pretty old and this one's LED and it, it's a daylight. So <clears throat> that's going on and here's the chimney. And the reason we're <clears throat> fixing the chimney is because um, last year we did notice there was times where there was some smoke coming back into the house so we decided that we should add an, another layer of uh, bricks here at the entrance all the way around the entrance that way it helps with um, that circulation of air so that's kind of like the main thing we're working on here there's another thing I got going on here at the house on the property is uh so i'm just trying to get in i'll show you a better look once again something is trying to get in and trying to like take advantage of the garden itself so we're gonna put a little dirt basically since we're already here i'm gonna grab this nice looking part of the seat and just like jam it in that position so basically I'm pretty sure I made a video before of me doing this but what I'm doing here is I'm just adding like uh, some brush and so when the animal wants to come back and try to get in through that point there's a barrier and that barrier has thorns and a lot of the animals here are used to like thorns and everything but it creates a barrier in a point where like they have to go through something else before they can get to the fence and sometimes they'll just leave it alone they'll, they'll leave the fence alone and they'll just move on and then a couple weeks later or something something else is going to try to get in at some at some other point um, so that's basically what we're doing here and I got to walk around the garden fence once more because they are trying to get in. So as you can see on the camera, <clears throat> well, all these little bumps, all these little holes right here, that's how Alina or maybe as from what I come to learn is that in this area, there are some feral pigs going around. So it could be the javelinas or it could be the pigs. I'm not, I'm not hundred percent sure like what came in. And so they got in here. And they kind of messed around here a little bit where the wheat's growing and they didn't really do too much damage let me take you around the fence so i'm here at the corner of the first section of the garden and, and here i can see something got in and also something pushed through there on that bottom portion of the fence if they can pull it or push it or anything like that they will do that and then right here they basically push this up and then they and you see this little dent here that's where they kind of got in then again it could that could be anything that doesn't necessarily mean it's a pig or a javelina uh, that could have been maybe like a, a coyote trying to get in that could also mean i've seen a raccoon already yeah so that could that hole could be a raccoon um Here's that first hole we fixed. Here's a hole. I'm gonna put this log here so if anything tries to go through, they really can't because then they gotta hit this log, right? a full like fence post log. I just dropped it right there on that hole. So now if anything tries to come through the same hole, you have to push the fence and then they gotta push the log. So here I'm starting to see a little trail Right at the center of the camera, right there. That's a that that's that's a hoof print. We got a hole here. You can definitely see something pulled out. And this other bingo, big one. That's where they're getting in. That is definitely where they're getting in. That's like a foot. 
So they got in through there. Um, that's definitely the one. So that's the main area. Um, I checked the rest of the fence um, other than those small uh, parts. This is where they're getting in from. Um, so I'm just basically going to pile some whatever I can find there and then throw some dirt on it. So I ended up closing all the holes already wherever there was like something that was trying to get in so that's taken care of I guess I guess we'll find out in a couple of weeks like if they started getting inside again so it's just a constant like thing out here where you want to basically have everything all nice and but there's just so many elements out here I'll just put that uh, new light fixture um, it was kind of difficult because it comes with all the stuff to basically put it like in the wall but since this is a mobile like it has this plastic thing so I basically just drilled the previous uh, screws to the plastic and it's just gonna hold it um, that's basically what the old one had and this one basically was just screwed in the plastic by those holes so as we got so far my dad my dad's working on this I'm doing some other stuff um, basically just scraped off all the stuff all the cement and then he's gonna start adding another layer of brick So what we're doing here is we're grabbing, we're making a key. In Spanish, it's called a candado. In English, I think it's called a key. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but the archway is there. It goes. And basically, if any of these bricks try to fall down, the way it's at an angle, if it falls down, it will apply pressure to the one on the right and to the one on the left. So let's say the second one wants to fall down through usage or whatever, and as it falls down, because how it's angled, the point of the, of the left brick at this corner is closer to this corner of this brick than it is on top. So if it tries to fall down, the tighter it gets on each of the bottom corners. Now, when that happens, with the key, the way the key is placed, none of these should ever fall down if, if they separate. If by usage, the heat and everything, they begin to separate and want to fall down, as long as the key's there, the way it's supposed to be, like, like a triangle, like a triangle shape, none of this should fall down. My father's putting the last piece before we're gonna let it dry. And there it is, and it's a tight fit, and it's a very, 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 very tight fit. And so now my dad's just basically going to get the rest of the uh, mortar, so he's just getting the excess and pretty much spreading it on there, and then we're going to let it dry.
There she is. She's already done. Uh, now I'm just going to buy like a bucket of paint and just paint it so that it matches everything else. And I'm probably going to paint that bottom portion the same color as what it was before. But the adjustment on the chimney is complete. Um, except for the paint, but other than that, uh, we'll paint and then and start it up once it dries.